أسعد الله أوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة نستضيف رجل أعمال معنا اليوم مستر باجيا من تيم ترابل أند توريزم هلا مستر باجيا How are you? <laughs> in the beginning, we are really pleasure to have you with us in our program Business Pioneer from ABC. Thank you. In the beginning, would you please tell us more about your beginning here in Dubai? When did you come here and what's your experience here? Well, I landed from India by ship into the UAE. It was not exactly the United Arab Emirates those days but okay then it formed the 75 onwards the UA like that when I landed here it took about six days for me to travel from Bombay to Dubai six days in the ship well that was a lie I came here because I had relatives over here so it was a bit easier for me to adjust and accommodate but then life keeps on going when you see others you know how do they live you try to manage yourself into their foot and you carry on because my elder sister was here my brother-in-law was here so it was easy for me to carry on this is how i started here mr bajak can you tell us what's your experience in travel field okay first i started to work at the dubai airport it was just started the dubai airport and i worked at the airport for three years and then i was working i started working with uh, kanu travel then I, I was the one to start the kanu travel this is how i entered into the travel business so i was the in charge of the kanu travel it never existed in dubai and i was the one to start from the small desk to a bigger favor. So this is how I entered into the travel and then I had a jump. I got a good chance to work for Air France because I used to have a good relations when I was in Kano because and Air France was the European so we have got a lot of business with them and they could testify my efficiency what I can do and they gave me a challenge if I can divert the business on Air France or convince the people to travel on Air France. And somehow I tried it and their business went up. They, the manager called me next day in the office and they said, no, you come over here. Well, I went there and we have got an office in Air France and Abu Dhabi also, which was a head office for the region. The general manager was there and they offered me, Mr. Bhatia, thank you. We find capabilities in you, how you can really divert or promote the product. And we are very happy with the performance that you have done it for our airline in a short period. This is where we go and they say, wait over there. I say, my interview is finished. Can I go now? He said, no. He asked the secretary, appointment order is ready you collect it and please sign it now i told the gentleman general manager of air france let me give me some time to think he says no we don't give you a time because we don't want to lose you you may have another job but we don't want to lose you so please and he made me to sign the appointment order of air france and thereafter, they gave me only one month notice to leave the uh, Kanu. It was very hard for me because I started the Kanu travel from the travel section and to go to Air France. My family also supported me. He says, okay, it is the end of the day. There's a difference between working and here you are going to go to the airline. So it is like upgrading. So they all endorsed that one decision and I joined Air France. So this is how from the travel agency I went to Air France. Then I worked for them 25 years in Dubai. And in between I started a couple of other travel agencies also. I started Al Shamsi Travel, I started Al Barakat Travel. 
I started Naresco Travel, couple of travel agencies I started when I was in Air France. Well, this is how and after the Air France, again my family decided that at the end of the day you are working in Air France. So working and having your own business, there's a difference. The test is different. So my family, my son, he's American. So he also pushed me, no dad, forget about working now. Now people should be working for you. So it's time has come to change. So I left Air France and I started it. First thing, the Uranus travel I started, where I'm a partner today also. And then I started the team travel here, where I'm sitting now. So this is why I'm carrying forward both. I'm a partner in Uranus travel. I'm a partner in team travel. Mr. Bajia, using your big experience in this field, how you built Team Travel and what services you offered here? Well, I can see that the, the market has changed, the trend has changed. When I started our business, the travelers were not very much open to the ideas. You know, what is a travel? They will simply depend upon their ticket, paper ticket which was being issued to them. That was the time. So they always need a travel agency to issue the ticket because they can't do this one. Slowly, slowly, smartly, the airlines to cut their cost because the airlines were paying 9% to the general sales agent and 7% to the IATA travel agency. For them, they thought that maybe since the technology has changed, they try to avoid the travel agencies and do the direct ticketing issues online. I'm saying this is where exactly the industry has changed. It is no more so much interesting as it was before. Now, after the passenger itself has got access to their online, and the, with the support of the credit card. They don't need any agent. They need an agent only if they want any extra services. Which also now slowly, slowly it is changing. So travel agents are not doing as good as they could have, they were doing before. Because of the technology. And it is not only in the travel industry. Now many industries, you know, the buyers has got a choice to go online and choose it and it's a convenient way for them to do it including yourself as you know even my close friends also they don't look at they take advice from us but then they go online and get the tickets well we had to accept the challenges right but any challenges they bring some new opportunity the new doors open but we are still breathing we are the, the we have got still some loyal customers for years for them the convenience that they get the, from the travel agency is more important than few bucks that they can sell it does matter to the small companies where they got only two three four five people or a small but with the bigger companies is still they are using because they need the services of the travel agents because they may be anywhere else in the world and with small WhatsApp or small email, they can tell us to do any changes because for them, the service is more important than few dirhams. So this is where we today we are counting and thanks to Dubai government, they have opened a lot of areas where we as a travel agent can do the provide the services to them so we are grateful to the government again to protect our interest also this is how we see the future of dubai dubai is our base i am an indian nevertheless but i have been staying here for so long more than 45 years here in dubai so we feel very homely here there are so many Indians, every nationality is welcomed by the government. They don't have any partiality. So we really feel that it's a plus point and it is not with me. You ask any nationality, 
This is a plus point that we all are being treated equally. This is where we are being encouraged and we like to stay as much as we can. What the message you want to deliver for UAE and government of Dubai? Only thanks to them that they have been like our fathers. They really treat us so well. We sometimes forget of our own country. We don't miss our own country because the love, affection and the justification which they have given to us here, unbelievable. We are really grateful to God, Allah and the government. In the end, can you tell all the people who's watching you how they can reach and contact with Team Travel? Well, I got, I got no words to say other than appreciating, that's all. Before we think that something we have to do, but the government has done everything. They are working on to see that how the people can be happy. And they have achieved, achieved in doing that. They have achieved. Even while we are talking over here, there are some people in some level in government. They are thinking even to do something better for us. In the end, we thank you very much, Mr. Bajia. We hope you all the best and the most successful for you and your family in the future. You are most welcome and I say from my heart, you are the one who can reach the, you know, the essence, what we feel it to wherever you can. And my advice to people is that turbulence comes. But the main challenge is that how do you handle it? That's very important. This is what the government has taught us here. And we salute everybody here. Thank you very much. Hope you all the best. You're welcome. Ila huna azzal al nakhtatim halakatina li hadal isbuah. Tabi huna kul jumaa wa sat ala kanatikum ABC. Dumtum bi khayr wa fi amalla.